So now I'm going to introduce the uh, next speaker, Harald Katzmeier, hoping uh, the pronounce is also fine here. <laughs> he is founder and director of uh, FAS Research. And uh, thanks to his international experience and the knowledge acquired in more than 2,000 international projects, he actually is one of the world's leading experts in the field of applied social network analysis. His background is in sociology and philosophy with a doctorate in philosophy and he has taught at various universities in Vienna. So now the floor is yours. I remind to write the question in the Q&A box. Thank you, please. So our, my first question is to you, are, are you still alive? <laughs> so still, Still some exergy, energy, or whatever in your body? Good, good, good. So uh, this is now the, 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 the last talk. Of course, I've, I've got too much, too, too, too many slides. Um, um, so let's see where, 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 how far it gets. So um, I want to talk about our innovation ecologies and how to design innovation ecologies in practice. So I talk about an actual project or we um, were leading here at FS Research and about the theoretical background and foundation. I want to show you how um, valuable our ecosystem thinking and the models that we've talked about today and we've heard about today are when we apply them in practice, even like in a social realm. And uh, uh, first up, I, I, I would like to start with when we talk about innovation, what do I mean by innovation, right? So where does novelty come from? And there's our, um, the first school of innovation, innovation number one is there's a creator, a God, and he just like, because he's a genius, and there's all the power creates the world, or in this case, Adam, this is like the, uh, 1.0 version. Uh, of course, he's not just like creating, but he also is destroying the world. So he's a destroyer. And uh, the fatalist uh, uh, version of that would be like uh, the novelty comes into the world through blind randomness. So it's quite a simple, straightforward model of uh, innovation. Much more complex are, is the Hellenistic model. Uh, as you know, the gods in Greece, uh, they had to procreate. So they're, they, they're, they're size and hair. They had to have, and I say it how it is, have less sex. So have to recombine genes in order to uh, bring forth something new. So procreation always means one plus one is three. And each time you hear out there, we have to build uh, places where ideas can recombine. This is, that's the story. It's the Hellenistic story of procreation. So ideas gotta have sex with each other so that one plus one equals three. Uh, there's a, uh, another version, and it's the Chinese model, and it's like the yin yang thing. It's a gradient into using opposites. Uh, you have a diversity gradient, like the flowing water and the solid mountain. And because of the polarities, there is like a gradient that 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 uh, uh, creates, so to speak, the 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 atmosphere where life can emerge can regenerate, but also the new can, can, can grow. Uh, we, of course, here in this community are, are, uh, 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 are linked with this mall. And it's its novelty is uh, uh, the product of autocatalytic emergence. But when you think about it, uh, it's actually a recombination of the Greek and the Chinese mall, because you have the recombination mall built in there plus the diversity gradient that uh, uh, is, is, there, is, is actually part of the whole theory of the adjacent possible and our, uh, the, the, the theory of the model that networks constantly get sucked into the opportunity, the new niches that uh, uh, itself has created. So you see like um, a novelty is like a, 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 a the, the product of our 
a, 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 a process where a network through the interactions and through the recombinations creates a space for the next step where the new or the new niche uh, can actually emerge. And our, here's just another um, and our representation of the emergence of ecological and economic niches. And our, the, 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 the question that, uh, uh, that, our, I, um, that, that, that we try to address here is, is it possible to design something like that, to have a network that has these emergent properties to bring forth mobility? Um, and, and, and what would be the, the, the shape of, of, of that the network? So how would it work? And here is like our, uh, a map of Linz of Austria, the Tepec Fabrik. It's the old Tepec Fabrik. It was a brown field. And our, it was a huge, huge area. And the question is, how can we create there an, a, an innovation ecology with startups, et cetera, et cetera. So what, who, who sh how can we create their autocatalytic and autocatalytic culture and autocatalytic network that um, uh, mobility uh, finds its place there? Well, um, is there a blueprint? Well, let me go step one step back again. So I've talked about the novelty space. So each time every network has what we call a, a latent niche space grid. What do I mean by that? You have a network and a network always creates, has like a, 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 an adjacent niche space. The niche space is, is represented through those dots, those white dots, okay? So, and, and the, 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 the important thing here is this, uh, this latent space has different shapes. So you, you can have the same network or you have similar networks with completely different, let them call niche spaces. Why is that? And that's something to do, there's the tip with, with culture. Uh, look here, this is what I call the Closer Syndrome grid uh, uh, named after Jane Jacobs. I deeply admire and, uh, and it's linked to her book, The Systems of Survival. Think about a tribal culture, a bureaucracy, or a political party, or an army. Uh, they would have like a network like that. There is no adjacency space. Why? Because it's taboo. It's forbidden to deal with the other. It's it's, it's just like there's a taboo function, a cultural function uh, that you have gotta shun trade. That uh, that you have gotta shun trade. Excuse me, with foreigner. You're not allowed. So the 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 soldier is not allowed to deal with our, uh, with, with, with the enemy. Only the generals might be uh, allowed to speak with each other. So their opportunity space is very, very uh, poor. Uh, whereas in the commercial context, you have a lot of opportunity to walk into the white space. So structural holes in networks can have completely different meaning depending on, so if you're in a power elite network, Life is full of potential next steps, full of opportunity. So that the the the, the grid, uh, uh, the, the latent grid of potential niches and roles is much much richer. So why why so? But things are much more complicated than that because we know that networks, complex systems, they cycle through different stages. So they're not static. That there's not the network, there is not that grid, it's much more dynamic. And we know this from Bas Halling and H2 Autumns and Ulanovic's model of it. Of, of, uh, 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 it's all like linked with, we have dynamics. And here you see like a, an example how the opportunity space uh, uh, changes through the cycle. So here at the peak of, of, of the growth cycle, there's a rich, rich space of opportunity that you can, where, where, where evolution or techno technology can do its next steps. So here, uh, when, when action is constrained, it gets poor and poorer. And after breakdown, there's no place to go. You're simply, it's empty. Whereas at this stage of the cycle, anything seems to be possible. So between anything, every, you could walk everywhere to actually nowhere, everything, the world seems to be closed. There's no next step. You're trapped uh, in the status quo 
there is different, there is dif different um, stages. So the artist, how to design a network uh, where you can go through those cycles that because actually in the real world, the cycles are erratic. There is not a beautiful cycle in the social world. It's not like our summer, winter, spring, and each have a kind of like a similar time span. Uh, in real world, there's not just one direction. I mean, sometimes you move in the real life from spring directly to winter or from fall directly to spring. So you're, you have much more, you're, it, 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 in, in, in the social world, we don't have this uh, clear cycle. So there's, there's irregularities and of course you, it's multi-scale. So it gets so complicated and complicated. So what is our approach to that? And this is, was the inspiration by uh, um, uh, reading Joseph Campbell's Hero's Journey and also start, starting to dig deeper into uh, our Carl Gustav Jung's arch theory of archetypes. So every, every step in the cycle, every stage has its, creates its niches and its roles. And those roles are opening up uh, the opportunity for other roles. So every, every role like in the emergent niche uh, model that I've show, show, showed before is opening up the possibility for the other role uh, to, to exist, so to speak. Uh, and here you see like archetypes. So it's a very simplified role model of our world because our, you see you have the seeker, you have the lover, the creator, the fighter, the ruler, the fool, the, the jester, the destroyer, the orphan child, the healer, the prophet, the sage. You might sound, this like sounds really strange. I mean, this is not like modern uh, sociology. It is not. Uh, uh, but the, the types, the roles that you see here make a lot of sense. Give me an example. First, this is just like I will come back to this later because those roles, as I said, are competing and completing each other in the cycle at different stages. And you can see like our, uh, 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 that there is like an interaction how the, those different roles, mythological roles, uh, open up the door for the existing or preparing, so to speak, the conditions for, for those others uh, to, uh, 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 to, to, to create or even to exist. So that's an example, the seeker. Think about the explorer. How can you have an in innovation ecology without explorers, without the autonomies? That's by the way, change our check of a beautiful picture. Um, the gold diggers, the loners, the mavericks, so you need those guys, but also those lovers. Lovers, we mean people who really care about something. Think about the do-it-yourselfers, the communities, the makers, who, who are the tinkerers, uh, the enthusiasts. This is an ornithologist, somebody who just watches birds for the sake of watching birds, for the joy of watching birds. There's no other intention, but there is something that, 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 that this, this is a, uh, a role that's got to be occupied in a, in a cycle in order uh, uh, to, uh, uh, to uh, have like all the complete roles uh, established to go through a cycle. The creator, the creative engineer, the scientist, the artist, the art artisan, the designer. But you also need in order for growth fighters. Who, what do we mean by fighters? The entrepreneur who wants the, the, the new, who wants to destructurized established markets. The athlete, the athlete is also a representation of this energy of that's required. The activist, the activist wants to change the status quo. The same with the rebel. What about a, a, a world without rebels and activists? Everything would be static and stuck. But then you come up to the top of the cycle, the ruler, the decision makers, uh, the CEOs, the investors, but also the experts, the specialists who really know they belong, of course, to the, this top, to this top uh, position. And then you, you need the fool, the chester, those who are the, the, the ruler and the, and, and the chester. What about the, and, and, and ecology without a chester? The entertainer is a variant of this archetype, the DJ. Well, you need DJs. Or that was like our... And you got the destroyer. The destroyer arises wherever it, wherever it comes from. You have those figures in history. The disruptors, the reorganizers who say stop. 
of course, the disruptive innovators like the iPhone was like for a lot of people. And it leads, it leaves behind a lot of orphans, orphan childs, people whose life gets destroyed, whose product gets destroyed. We talk so much about creative destruction. Isn't it funny? Creative seems nice, but what about the, the destruction part? Or what about this destructive, you know, destructive cre creativity? Anyway, it's, I just want to go into detail. I don't have time for that. I just want to, the frail, the frail. What about the frail? So many, you're, you're in this stage of this cycle. And then you need like the caring, the care, the caring person, the, the, the nurse, the healers, uh, who, who to, to, to take up the coaches, who help you to overcome, to forget, but also the landlords. Without a land, you are you, where you can drink your beer and and and, and talk about their, uh, all the things that went wrong in your life. How could be a cycle completed? The caretaker, who's like uh, 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 the the handyman? Excuse me, who, who's like it's a handyman? It's not just the caretaker. Who's like preparing the bulbs when they are when they are gone? Um, the cleaner, who's cleaning your, 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 your office? Without a cleaner, no cycle, no cycle. So the ecology, the role would not be so. And then you need like the visionary for the next steps, the prophets, the seers, those who kind of look into, of course, she's like a perfect seer because of her also are the blind seer, in, the, in this her case, the autistic seer. Anyway, it's a mythological role almost, but he's, she's an archetype. She's a realization of an archetype of a necessary, absolutely necessary role in this eco cycle of innovation. The futurists, of course, we need them. And the role models, those who are pointing towards what's, what would be possible. And then you need the sages, the philosophers, the spiritual leaders, um, and the mentors who help you through this passage. And eventually, my, one of my favorites is the dreamer. Why the dreamer? You would never ever start something new without na naivety. You need the idealists. You have to become the child again, like in the Bible, so that you can start uh, 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 fresh. So what you see here is like all those roles and all those functional roles, they're archetypes. You gotta have them in your network in order to go through the cycles and the cycles will come, the cycles are irregular, the cycles are like, uh, as we've seen, like not so beautifully scripted like here, they are more ugly sometimes, but if you, but those roles are out there for a good reason and they're survived the mythologies for a good reason because they are linked with adaptive cycle. I truly believe that, uh, that there is like a almost functional reason why they survived in our stories and why we find them everywhere. So what we did in the tobacco factory was, and here you see um, uh, uh, the, the director um, of uh, their, their, the tobacco factory, Chris Muller and myself, and we hosted workshops there with the tenants on this area. And we said, look, and you see this an analysis of like auto catalytic cycles between the tenants. So we just asked them who in this uh, area of the tobacco factory did something that helped you uh, in order to uh, uh, do your own stuff, who inspired you or, or supported your own. So, and we, and we analyzed the changes of those auto catalytic cycles over years in order to look at it, how, how this whole ecology there emerged. Uh, with with the, the members of the tobacco factory, we looked at who is missing the missing link analysis, and we, we together with them. So it was a co-curated, community curated search for the adjacent possible or or exploration of their adjacency grid, as I called it before. So where could we next? So what 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 who's missing? What could be like a uh, what we call like almost closed auto catalytic set? So. Whereas like this, if we would have this one more uh, link, uh, we would have a finished cycle. And from that, we have the missing links. Well, and what you see here is like, as, as I said, competing and completing roles. We, uh, this is just like one example, uh, because uh, even there it's always complex because the roles of those archetypes and if they are competing or completing is changes over the stages in the cycle. It's really horrible. You start with something and it always gets more and more complex, but that's how it is. 
right? You, so you have, you don't have the same relationship between the ruler, for example, and the the, uh, the warrior. Uh, uh, here it's it, uh, uh, in 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 this cycle from omega to alpha in the in the pass falling cycle. Uh, it would be different from from alpha to R. Uh, so just like I want to make it more complex. But you see here some analysis, and here's now here my romantic heart. Just like here things really start to open up. I'm, I'm more... sorry to interrupt you, but uh, I don't know how much uh, do you have uh, because the time is up. So... Okay, no, no, it's not 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 a lot. It's okay. really just like <laughs> two more slides. Okay. Okay, but the time is important. I'm aware of that. I'm, I'm <laughs> excusing myself already, but just like let me just like uh, share my, my 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 romanticism here. What you see here is from all those roles, and it's the weighted degree. So it's like uh, how much input they get from others and how much they catalyze others. It's the seeker. So those who are keeping, we talked about ontic openness before, right? So those who are keeping the system open are the ones with the highest importance in terms of role in this stage of the cycle. It's the seeker, it's the creator, it's the dreamer, the dreamer. So it's not, I'm talking about this stage where in, 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 the, in the reorganization cycle, sure. But I just wanna give you just like one last uh, impression about the, the cycles that there, there's nine uh, two, uh, two or three ring cycles are that we, that we discovered here. And what you see here is like, you have a, a one cycle that's linked with, I would say like healing and reestablishing after breakdown. Here it's really about are the visionary, the dreamer, the seeker about figuring out what's next so that and here is like a very dangerous cycle because it has a very high destructive power it's like the orphan looks for the visionary but the visionary can inspire the warrior of course yeah who wants so there is like the the, the, the fanatic there the who else so that's why the destroyers here so i don't have time to go through it it's just like one last thing really one last thing uh that every ecosystem has cross scale structures and scale breaks. So we know that, right? Space time, global, local, the mouse is, occupies different, different species, uh, niches in time and space. But between those different are, uh, 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 scales, that's the problem. There is scale breaks. And this is so, why, why I'm bringing this up? Because there is like a zone of challenge and opportunity if you occupy that, there's a precariousness there. So everything that renews us, uh, and you have in the course, the centripetality, uh, 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 Ulanovic's uh, centripetality course, uh, and, and they suck up, we talked about centripetality and centrifugality, the centrifugality suck up from the periphery uh, of, of, of the ecosystem people. And who is the periphery? The periphery is the orphan, is the seeker, is the dreamer, is the visionary. So we have in our innovation ecology multiple peripheries according to the scale we're looking at. I'm just bringing this up because uh, the periphery is exactly where the scale breaks are. This is a completely different idea of what the periphery is in the network because you have to understand where the scale breaks are. And that's where the new emerges. That's what we've learned from Elm and, 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 and the late work from, from, from Halling. That's where the new comes from. And we have to activate and take care of our peripheries, of our multiple peripheries, of the seekers, the visionaries, the dreamers, and the orphans, because they are the ones who help us eke up.